Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to a new series I'm doing called Ask Red Anything. This is going to be kind of an FAQ sort of little series where I'm going to be answering questions that you guys may have to me. And I thought, what better way than to do a new series for it to, um, you know, make it all in one kind of compact area. And uh, I just, I've seen a lot of other people do this. And I thought, you know, why not? I'll do it too. So before we begin, uh, I just wanted to say a couple quick things, kind of like a little mini update to my channel in general. So first of all, I started posting on the Reign of Gaming's blog. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to put a, a link to that in the description underneath here. And uh, you guys can definitely go and check that out um, because, uh, you know, I start posting there. It's the blog that Elements kind of maintains and whatnot. Um, Another thing I want to say is for Reddit sizes, um, you guys have probably noticed that I haven't been doing a Reddit sizes episode for a while. So that's because um, there's just, I don't have time to really look through the replays and every time I post one that's not that good, like you know, maybe the player didn't do so hot or whatnot, people get a little like annoyed that I would post a game of a player not doing so hot. So I mean, if the only way I can continue Reddit sizes is if I get someone who I can trust to help me out with the series. Now I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I'm going to choose this one person, but basically, um, I want to have someone that will be helping me out with videos, someone I can trust, someone I can basically rely on and just, you know, have uh, constant contact with if I need them and all that kind of stuff. And what this person will help me for now, for Reddit sizes at least, is that they will be uh, looking at all the submissions for Reddit sizes and checking them out and whatnot and basically telling me which one they believe will be a good uh, candidate for me to uh, do a Reddit sizes episode on. So if you're willing and you're interested, um, don't post in the comments, send me an inbox and send me a, you know, title it like applying for... Um, for your like, I don't know, help for applying for Reddit as help or something like that. Something that tells me that you're applying to kind of help me out in this kind of stuff. And um, you know, in the in the in the uh, inbox, the YouTube inbox, they're gonna send me. Just you know, tell me um, why I should have you know, kind of you helping me out with my YouTube stuff. You know, why you sh why you and not someone else. You know, just that kind of stuff. Just tell me why I, I should trust you and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, definitely you know do that, and I'll be sure to read all of them, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Another thing I want to say is, uh, don't forget. Oh my God! Don't forget that we're doing um, doing a 15k subscriber giveaway. So once I get to 15k subs, or once we get to 15k subs, I am doing another giveaway, and this one is going to be um, some kind of uh, item, maybe like a keyboard, a mouse, or something like that. And uh, you know, it's going to be very exciting. Cannot wait for that. I'm going to do a vlog with that, probably with Nuplox. And um, I also just want to take a quick moment to just thank everyone for subscribing. I, you know, I love you all. You guys are just exactly what makes this channel happen. Obviously, there is no channel without the viewers because you guys are obviously what makes this channel basically grow. And I just want to say a quick thank you to every single person that subscribes to me. Even if you're not subscribed, you still watch my videos and you know follow and all that stuff. I thank all of you and uh, you know great stuff. And let's just keep going forward. And the last thing I want to quickly say before we begin is exams. Uh, I have exams coming up next week, and that's why I'm not posting a lot of uh, games right now. People have been asking, you know, why I'm not posting a lot of full replays or full gameplay games and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's because I have exams coming up, and I just don't have the time right now to record it, to render it, and to upload it. It takes a lot of time. So once exams are done, which will be the next Friday, I believe the uh, 17th, 16th of uh, this month, the December, uh, we'll start posting a lot more games during my uh, winter break. Uh, I'll try getting maybe a couple or two or three games a week or something. It'll be very cool, and I'm sure you guys will really like that. So enough of that, and let's get on with this series. So the first question that someone asked me on Facebook is, do you have any tips for raising your ELO when it seems you get nothing but bad teammates? Um, it's a good question. Uh, a lot of people ask this question all over the forums and stuff, and the only thing I can say is just don't rage at your team. I mean, as much as you want to rage, let's like say someone does bad, just you have to like, just do your best to hold back. Just don't get mad at them. Don't call them bad. Don't call them shit. Don't don't make them feel even worse than they probably already do from you know messing up and just having a bad game. Because like you know they know they messed up. They know they kind of they fucked up. They know they played bad. They know they fed. They know they you know did something stupid. It doesn't help them in any way to you know kind of make them want to go back into the game you know fully focused and just continue playing and you know going in for the win when uh, their team is at the same time is also kind of making them feel even worse. That's like the number one tip I would say. Don't don't rage at your teammates or anything. Um, it's just, if you can, you know, try to resist. That's like the number one thing. And also make sure you kind of pick according with your team. Don't just go in and just like say, uh, you know, I'm playing Trindamir and like I don't care what you guys pick. And then like even if they already have like all the picks and all that is needed is the support and you just end up still locking in Trindamir. I mean, don't do those kind of things. That's like number one kind of thing that will basically ruin your game and whatnot and just not make you go up in ELO. And um, other than that, it really is just, you know, depending on you to be able to carry. That's all I can say. Just pick a role that you can dominate in and just hardcore carry. That's all you can really do. 
Uh, the second question kind of goes with this one in an opposite way, sort of. Um, do you ever rage or troll? Or do I ever do I, ah, do I ever troll or rage quit? <clears throat> so, answer is yes. I mean, I'm like I'm I'm a human. You know, I'm a human being. I'm like anyone else. I mean, everyone rages, everyone trolls. Um, I don't really troll that much. I'm not much of a troller because like when I play, I usually play to win. I don't really waste my time trolling people. I just that's not my kind of thing. But I do rage. Not, I wouldn't say rage quit, but I do rage. I've never actually really rage quit a lot. Uh, only times I sometimes rage is like when I when I'm playing with my friends and my friends just like maybe really have a you know just go really really bad or they just purposely like troll or purposely like do something really stupid um and like they're just basically you know wasting my time I just kind of go afk maybe sometimes like I mean I don't do that often just you know sometimes if they're like just being ridiculously stupid and just purposely trying to waste my time almost and I'll I'll you know I'll just go afk and I do that in like sometimes solo queue or normals if people are just being completely retarded and just like wasting my time I'll you know I'll just waste theirs basically that's that's well, you know, that's the gist of it. Um, so the third question: If you could, have, if you could make your own champion to play in league, what would he, she, it be like? Abilities, looks, etc. So long story short, my champion would be an assassin because I love assassins. That's my favorite type of role in any kind of game. I always play assassins. That or ranged people like archers. That's usually what I like to play. So my champion would easily be an assassin, probably someone who really like um, abuses stealth in a way. Not like Evelyn, kind of warning way, like I don't know, a nice, cool looking way. I can't really describe it. I don't know. Like this is not exactly something you can just think of in two minutes. Um, he would definitely be uh, have a really badass look. I think he would look really like uh, make him look darkish, really like assassin like, kind of like Talon is like basically Talon was my one of like the champion that like I felt like was made for me, kind of in the sense that like you know he just fit me in a way, uh, which is why I really really like Talon when he came out. Um, so kind of something like Talon, I would say. Fourth question is kind of a troll question. On a scale of one to ten, with five being the highest, how attractive is new Plux? Um, probably a one. No, actually, not like a negative ten. Yeah, negative ten, I'd say. He's attractive. Yeah, negative ten. And that, that's being nice too. <laughs> All right. So number five. So do you want to be a pro game pro gamer when you finish college, or will LOL always just be something you'll do in your spare time? It's a good question. Um, it's, I'm not really sure. I mean, it's one of those things where if I can be a pro gamer in it, I will. But if I can't, if like it doesn't succeed or if it doesn't just happen, then you know it doesn't happen. Um, because at the moment, lol is kind of. I do it as my spare time, but I also now do it. Um, I wouldn't say as like my side job or anything like that. It's just something I do while also kind of getting now at least getting you know some money for it. Not a lot of money. It's just some money. It's just but it's still something uh, enough for me at the moment. I guess you can say. But um, it's just right now, it's just something I'm going to be taking a bit more seriously in the sense that like it's kind of, it, it's something that I like for my YouTube channel at least. It's something that I want to um, expand and constantly keep expanding and you know just get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just what I really want to do right now, and uh, you know hopefully I want to see where this can take me. Um, but I do want to become a pro gamer. It's definitely something that I've always wanted to be. You know, it's, I mean, who doesn't want to be a pro gamer? So that's definitely something that you know, I might. Uh, try to do uh, pro gamers just so you know it's really cool and really fun and i'll be really excited if uh, i can become one actually so definitely i if i want if i could i would um six where did you hear about league of legends um where did i hear about league of legends well i used to play dota back in warcraft 3 when that was the only thing that was available then i switched to heroes of new earth when that was in its beta while it was still free and then near the end of the heroes of new earth beta league of legends finally you know it was came out and I think it was in its beta or something but like I didn't really play it and then it finally went public and I saw the graphics and I thought this was like the ugliest thing I've ever seen and then I remember I played I just me and my me and Nuplox were like I think when Han went into pay mode I didn't want to pay for it and then I just thought I'm like you know whatever I'll try this new one called League of Legends and I'm just I just started playing it I remember my first hero I played with uh, Nuplox I was uh, Morgana and he I think went Annie the very very first game I've ever played and it was really, really interesting. It was, like, the graphics were completely different from like what I'm used to with Han and Dota. And it was just interesting overall. But um, I mean, League of Legends was just one of those things that I heard, I think, on probably some gaming website or something. Number seven. So who is your favorite champion other than Akali? Um, right now, I'm, I wouldn't say he's my favorite. But right now, I'm like, liking Karthus. I've been, I picked him up. And I'm, you know, I like him. He's really fun to play, I think. Um, other than that, my favorite champions other than Akali. Let me just put up the list. Let's see, who do I like? I really like, um, I like Malzahar. He's probably one of my favorite AP. Jax, I love just because of his backstory. I just find his backstory to be like the best thing ever. Shaco, I love because of his skins and he's just his playstyle is really cool. Talon, I love because he's just like a pure, like badass assassin. Um, those, are, Mordekaiser, I also really like just because he's, you know, like a metal guy, like, you know, like music, metal and all that kind of stuff. I just think he's badass. 
Canon, I like because he's an assassin too, and he's just a badass looking skin or badass looking skin he has with um that uh what's it, which one is it um karate cannon. I just think it's super badass. And those are probably my main favorite champions. I don't know mm, who else would be my favorite. I really like Poppy just because of her play style too. It's, it's really it's different. It's completely different, and it's really really cool. Um, I also like kind of like Wukong. I think his play style and just his character in general is just really it's really cool, really awesome, interesting character. And those are probably my favorite, I would say, in terms of just like, you know, whether I like them or not. Um, I'm not really sure who I would else I would consider my favorite. I mean, I like a lot of them, but as my favorite, those are probably the ones. Um, number eight, do you want to see more maps released by Riot, or do you not mind having only three? Well, three is already too much for me, to be honest. I mean, I barely played Twisted Tree Line, and I barely played Dominion. I don't really care much for them. I'm here for Dota. I'm here for the 5v5. That's what Dota is. Dota, to me, is not 3v3 or Dominion. That's just... It's like an arcade version of Dota, in my opinion. It's not, it's not what I'm, it's not what I'm here for. So basically, like even if they took out Twisted Tree Line and Dominion, like that wouldn't affect me in any way because all I play is the five v five Summoners Rift, anyways. Um, number nine, who or how introduced you to League of Legends, and how did you get into making videos, YouTube videos? I right, well, I uh, we went through the part of how I got introduced to League of Legends, but uh, how do I get, how did I get into making YouTube videos? It's actually a pretty interesting story, sort of. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Husky Starcraft. You know, he's a very, very popular guy who makes Starcraft videos. And um, before when I before I started making videos, I used to watch him when I, you know, I still played Starcraft. And um, <clears throat> he had this little competition on his uh, sub channel where he's like, you know, he wants his subscribers or his subscribers to make a commentating video on the Starcraft game, and he wanted them to submit it to him, and he's gonna pick a winner and all that kind of stuff. I went through this on my uh, montage, but um, and then. He's like, you know, yeah, blah, 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 and then submit it to me, and then I'll pick a winner, which I don't think he ever ended up picking a winner. I think he kind of forgot about it. But um, that's kind of when I started. I started making some uh, commentaries on StarCraft, and I remember one of my StarCraft videos, like the third one I think I did, like somehow got 4K views, and I was like, holy crap, like, I was just like shocked. I was just like amazed, like 4K views. I was like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. And then um, from then on, I just, I, I've never been really good at uh, RTS games. I've only been like average at them. I've, I've never been like above average. It's like I can never. I don't know. Why, it's just not my type of game. I mean, I like playing them, but I just can never get above average on them. Um, so, and I knew like, I've always been good at like Dota and like Han and League of Legends. And um, I'm like, you know, why not just make videos on a game I'm actually good at? And that's kind of what I started to do. I just made a game. Oh, I started making videos on League of Legends, and uh, that's kind of where I went from. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, I just feel like ever since I make, started making YouTube videos for League of Legends, people have you know started to kind of judge me by like saying like you know like basically determining whether I'm good enough or worthy enough to uh, be making guides and just you know tutorials and all that kind of stuff for this game. And ever since then, like I just started taking League of Legends more seriously. I tried you know getting my ranking up higher. I tried be, you know being just a better player overall because I knew people are going to be judging me and just determining whether I'm good enough you know to make you know, guides and all that kind of stuff and uh, I just feel like this as a whole has overall made me a better player because I've been taking it a lot more seriously and then the last question for this episode uh, what do you think is the worst champion in the game that's a pretty good question uh, if I had to rate some of the worst champions personally just from just from my own experience that I just wouldn't want to see on my team or anything like that or I would love going up against um, I haven't seen many good karmas. I mean, I know a good AP karma can be a really good AP if you can play her right, but um, that's like that's like one in a million people that can probably do that. So that's karma is one of them because not many people can play her, and if you can't play her, she's completely useless. Um, also, um, Evelyn I'd say is pretty useless unless she you can really play her. Um, so I wouldn't really mind going up against an Evelyn. She's pretty easy to beat nowadays. Uh, also, I wouldn't mind playing against. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, this one, blah, blah, blah. Garen, Gangplank, Fizz, Noah, Fiddle, Ezreal, Mundo. Mundo. Uh, we don't mind playing against a Mundo. He's pretty easy to beat, I think. You just have an Ignite or something like that, and he's you're pretty good to go on him. Heimerdinger. Mm, same thing with Heimerdinger, like Evelyn and Karma. Not many people can play him, but people that can play him properly can be pretty deadly. So, uh, going with that, Heimerdinger, I wouldn't mind playing against just because not many people know how to play him properly. Um, let's see, let's see. I'd I'd say maybe maybe Kale. Mm -hmm. Kale's she's pretty strong even if you can't really play her that well. So I mean probably not Kale per se. Nidalee, I don't mind playing against Nidalee to be honest. I find Nidalee pretty bad as a champion overall. I don't like Nidalee uh, personally. I I don't really think she's that good. Um, unless you play her like that retarded uh, Admog's AD Nidalee build, which is retarded. 
but I just overall don't find Nidalee to be that strong of a, of a champion in general. So I wouldn't mind playing against Nids. Like I like laning against Nidalees and all that, and like I don't really find it difficult to lane against. And then probably the one person I really hate laning against is Rise. I can't stand laning against Rise. I just find them to be extremely strong in lane, and I just really hate laning against a Rise. And um, that's it for this uh, episode, guys. So I mean, don't forget post in the comments what you want the next questions to be. The next ten questions, I'll be uh, definitely reading the comments. Definitely post them in the comments, and just I'll be. Uh, choosing the next 10 for the next episode which i'll release maybe in a week or so and uh that's it for this episode guys um i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys found it informative and i uh, will catch you guys for the next one peace